Welcome back, Santa Clarita. This is a show where you need to know, and you get to know, and I know you want to know. And at Santa Clarita's hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS, it's the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John. I'm Doug. I love, I'm John. I like that song. I was uh, yeah. rocking out during the break. All right. Well, we're yeah. on a roll here because we are. Yeah, late breaking news. That is very interesting, and I know somebody's going to be very interested in the late breaking news, and probably maybe some sh- shed shed I think some light I, on it. I think he might have helped cause the late breaking news. That's true. We have uh, City Councilman Tim Ben Boyson on the phone. City Councilman, you there? Good, I hope. good afternoon, Doug and John. Good afternoon, Tim sir. Ben, how are you? Uh, so let me ask you: uh, Would I be correct in saying? Uh, would I be correct in congratulating you? I'm not sure what for. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard about the billboards. Uh, yes, I did hear that the the billboards, uh, the second reading. Uh, it's possible that it may have to go to a further reading. Okay. So it hasn't technically been voted down. We want to make no. sure that's very clear. Oh, no, no, no. Let me make something, you know, really clear to everyone who might be listening. Uh, the city's cut on, on those three boards is, is once we replace these private businesses, if we, if we continue down this road and, and we decide that who's going to be a winner and who's going to be a loser, something that I'm very much opposed to in government, right. where government replaces existing businesses and puts a new business in and takes a cut for themselves. Right. I'm very, very opposed to that. I think it's a little bit like the mafia, and I do not appreciate that we were going down that road. Mm-hmm. However, if we were going down the road, they indicated to us, uh, the billboard companies, that uh, we, our, our cut could be expected to be between four and 600000 the first year and possibly to a million dollars a year after that. So the 50-year contract, you're talking about um, a contract that's worth somewhere between, uh, you know, some rough numbers, Possibly seventy-five million to one hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, exactly. If you think that's going away, <laughs> um, no. With that much money out there, then I would suggest that you do not have a, a good understanding of how things work in the world. So yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm pleased that the staff has decided to uh, recommend denial, and that's based upon the fact that at this point in time, mm-hmm. Metro did not agree. To all of the things they said they were going to agree to gotcha. on tape at the council meeting. Okay. And the one of the big operative things that they did not agree to, and this is my information and, and what's in the agenda packet, is that they did not agree to us being putting in specific language that I demanded that would have us have our liability set aside. In other words, they would indemnify us right. specifically for traffic accidents that might be caused by these new digital lit billboards that change their messages every eight seconds. Absolutely, because I'm sure plaintiff's bar is drooling over these things. <laughs> well, you know what? He, he, there's no place like California, as you know. Yeah. And I'm not certain that uh, anyone has won one of those cases yet. But if someone did win one of those cases and it was a multi-million dollar uh, settlement, then, of course, the city would be set back uh, quite a bit in you know their revenue stream if we had to pay a portion of that. Exactly. Now the billboard companies uh, have said that all evidence points to the fact that these are very safe. So if they're very safe, then Metro shouldn't have any trouble right. indemnifying us. Roll the dice. <laughs> but if they're not really safe, and then that's the reason that can be the only reason I can think of why they wouldn't indemnify us, because if if they were safe, then they wouldn't have any problem with the. Uh, a clause in a language that said uh, they'll indemnify us for uh, uh, not limited to, but including automobile accidents. And that specific language is apparently uh, what is killing that's the, the s- deal yeah, that's at the this sticking point, point in time. That's the sticking point. Councilman, now, I, have I have a question. How involved were you with the staff in making this decision, or when they're investigating this and negotiating, are you guys involved? Not at all. Okay. So now, it's, you just I would like to be involved. I had Given my, it's certainly legal and proper for a person like myself to be involved. I used to negotiate commercial contracts when I was in uh, property management and development, and right. I, I do a few little ones, you know, as a theater go. But 
uh, you would, you know, I, I've done my share of negotiating in the past, and uh, I certainly can tell you this: I certainly would have gotten a much better deal if I was in on the ground floor of this particular, and if it has to go back to the drawing board. Uh, and we and and the council made it clear that they were very much in favor of doing some sort of a deal. I certainly would have got a better deal than what we're looking at. Yeah, it just it just strikes me as a little strange that somebody's going to be in the billboard business. It's either gonna, with Metro, I guess, um, the city, and then somebody else who may yeah. or may not know what they're doing in regard to billboards. Well, it, it would be uh, uh, you know it's a three way deal with uh, Metro being involved, ourselves being involved and a uh, company called All Vision, who may or may not operate the billboards. They may just take a, a percentage cut of the gross revenues. Now, you'll see that All Vision, a private company, is not seemingly as slow as the people that negotiated our contract, because the deal that was put in front of us, there is no guarantee of the percentage of the gross. Right. Anybody who knows the difference between a net and a gross in a business knows that the best deal you can have, of course, gives you a guaranteed percentage of the growth, and then, on top of that, a percentage of the net when you get to X number of dollars. Plus, they would have a contract that was a lot tighter than the one that we were looking at, where one of the accepted expenses was et cetera, which I have right. never really seen in <laughs> all of my years. Et cetera. Never saw that right. terminology before that, here are the list of expenses that are acceptable, and one of the expenses that are acceptable, including uh, rent, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, exactly. uh, utilities, and, right. and things like that. Et cetera. Et cetera. <laughs> so, it's right up there I mean, with miscellaneous. I, mean, I, I, I know, uh, John, as is, is an attorney, you, if you were on the other side and, and the city was trying to collect money because they felt there was an unfair advantage, I think you'd love to have something like that in yeah. the contract if you were part of the billboard company because you could put anything you want in that. And exactly. that is the deal that came to us. Wow. It was a terrible deal. It's still a terrible deal. And people say, well, now it's, it's over. No, no it it's, is not over. It's not over. And I will tell you that if, and I have not seen my packet yet, I will mm -hmm. pick that up today to read it, if it has the same uh, thing that came to us last week, it's not changed at all, you know, that the council gave instructions that they would ask for a certain change. Right. And those changes have not been have made. Have not been done. So, you, so okay. they could go, theoretically, if they wanted, they could go tonight and change the deal and, and make it the first reading tonight and then move it to a second reading right. in the next meeting and right. still get it done before the election. Right. Oh, and, they, and, and, you know, people who follow politics will understand that usually a contentious issue like this is kept out uh, 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 try to be, you know, you try, you don't want to be if you're running for office. Exactly. To where there's two different sides or something, and so you vote one way, you're going to lose votes, really, right. in the middle of an election cycle. However, this is different. Yeah. This, this particular issue is that they know that I, I am adamantly opposed to the deal as it's written, and they know that they only one more vote would stop it. Right. Because right. it must have three votes. And with uh, Councilwoman West, uh, recusing herself on this vote, it's and that means it only needs one other vote, and Mr. Ferry is stepping down in a few more weeks. It's and, only going to get, yeah, it's only going to get more else is going to be in that seat, and they exactly. cannot guarantee who that person right. is going to be. Yeah. So they don't, they don't know that they have that vote, so right. there is, that is why the big push is on. All right. Hey, Councilman, real quick, stop. we're up against a break, but i got to ask you, you got about 20 seconds. What's going on at the theater? Hey, you know, we are uh, in rehearsals for a great musical called Damn Yankees. Oh, i got to come see that. It's a comedy. It's so fun. And people that know that, it's a classic. Uh, and we're also going to be doing Clarissa's Closet, a story about a little girl uh, who doesn't want to clean her room. And that's a fun little musical. <laughs> and uh, a very talented director is also directing that show, uh, Ingrid Boykston. Oh, there you go. Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know her? <laughs> Freddie is doing the... Uh, the damn Yankee show, and she's also a superb director. All right. She did Susica last year. So I encourage people to call the box up and get her tickets. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Councilman Tim Ben. We appreciate it. Thank you, Councilman. Okay. We will have you on again, I'm sure. And uh, you're listening to the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John on AM 1220 KHTS.